at last Severa has come. Looks like. Hi Severa. Hi. Come, come. Please sit. Thank you. Hi. 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 Good to see you all. Good yeah, to see you too. too. But you're late. Yeah, there was a traffic jam on the way. As usual. So how was your day? It was good. It could have been better. Yeah, busy day for me too. It's getting quite late. Shall we begin? Yes. Yes, let's start. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord. We lift up ourselves to you, Lord. And at this time, we also lift up all those people who have told us to pray for them, Lord. Yes, Father, we ask you to touch their lives, Lord. Yes, Jesus. And heal them, Lord. Lord. Deliver them, Lord. Set them free, Lord. Yes, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord. Amen. 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 Lord, I lift up our youth into your hand, Father. Bless them abundantly, Father. Draw them closer to you, Lord. Help them to know you more, Father. We say this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, I lift up the worship team into your hand, Lord. Lord, I pray that you to give them the wisdom and knowledge, Father. And let them be under your wings. To increase their faith and love for you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, I lift up all the families into your hands, Lord. Lord, only you can bring change in their lives, Lord. Lord, when families are changed, Lord, nations are changed, Lord. Bless each one of them, Father, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It was a blessed time. Yes. 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 We should meet more often. Yeah. Indeed, we should. Try? Yes. Yes, yes please. I'll come to help you. Mm. This Sunday, the worship was amazing and the word, the word was too good. Yes. yes. Good, good, really good. It was good, but I was a bit disappointed. What? What happened? Did you see Jackie? She wore a sleeveless blouse. She's yeah. a worship leader yes. and she's supposed to be an example. Somebody should go and talk to her. I'm not going to do that. But I was really disappointed by the way she was dressed. Well, I was disturbed a lot during worship last Sunday. Did you see that couple standing behind? Which couple? The one in the corner? Yeah. But they seem very spiritual. Yes. But I'm their friend on Facebook. Have you seen the kind of friends they have? The kind of photographs they upload? The places they go, it is not at all what it seems in the church. Very sad. What? What I heard? Ivy is counseling them. Ivy? She has no time to pick my calls. But when she was in trouble, I was there to help her. But now... Hey, hey, hey. hey. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. We just finished interceding and praying for people. And now what are we doing? I mean, is this right? Is this right? Is this right? It's a question I believe we need to ask ourselves. The people here gathered to pray. They gathered to bless somebody, pray for others. And once they have done so, they begin to gossip about others, begin to backbite. Is this right? We cannot with the same mouth praise God and then begin to curse one another, gossip against one another. We read in James chapter 3 verse 10, he says, From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be. These things should not be. We cannot from the same mouth bless God, praise God. We cannot be people who read the Bible and then begin to live a life contrary to the word of God. We need to reflect what we believe. Our walk with God should be shown by the life that we live, by the words that we speak. We cannot be like the Pharisees who were like whitewashed tombs. They were religious on the outside. They showed an external form of godliness. But on the inside, they were rotten. They were dead. Let us not be such. You know, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That means what you are on the inside will be shown by the words you speak on the outside. Gossiping is not from God. 
backbiting, complaining, talking behind people's back, finding fault with others is not from God. On the contrary, in Colossians chapter 4, verse 6, Paul exhorts the church and says, Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt. Let your speech always, not sometimes, always be gracious. I want to encourage you. Let us be people that reflect what we believe. Let us not use our tongue to gossip and pull down one another, but let us be people who build one another up, who encourage who even if we find fault with someone, we have the courage and the boldness to sit with that person and talk about it. Remember, if the person is not present and you're talking about them, you are gossiping. If you're complaining about them, you are gossiping. And that's against God's ways and God's word. We need to be people who walk right before the eyes of God. That when God looks upon us, would say, yes, you are my faithful servant. I can trust you. Today, let us ask ourselves, is it right when we complain, gossip, when we begin to talk behind somebody's back? Is it right? God bless you.